This slide contains a derivation of the cumulative distribution function for a triangular random variable. Before we get to the mathematics, there's just enough room over here for a picture of the cumulative distribution function. And so if this is f of x and this is the minimum a, and this is the mode b, and this is the maximum c, here is what the CDF will look like. Of course, it will lie between 0 and 1. And before the minimum, the CDF will be here at 0. Between the minimum and the mode, it is a linear increasing function. So you will have a concave up quadratic that will reach some height here. Between b and c, the probability density function is a linear decreasing function, which means that you will have a quadratic concave down portion. And then after that, it will stay flat at 1. So this is kind of our graphical target that we're looking for when trying to determine the cumulative distribution function. So assume that x is triangular, has parameters a, b, and c. On this first segment between the minimum and the mode, the CDF f of x will be the integral from a, the minimum, up to x of f of, in this case, we go with f of t dt. And that is 2 times t minus a divided by b minus a times c minus a dt. When that is integrated and simplified, it turns out to be this. So there is the CDF, and here's the picture of it on that first segment. Now on the second segment between B and C, don't forget we have to include the amount of area that we have passed underneath that probability density function from A to B. So if you take a B and plug it into here, you'll get B minus A squared divided by B minus A C minus A, one set of those b minus a is cancel, leaving you with b minus a divided by c minus a, and that's where you are starting. That's this height right here. You are already at that point, and then you gather the, the area underneath the probability density function between b and x, and here is the probability density function, dt. This will be 1 minus c minus x squared over c minus a, c minus b. When you perform this integration and you simplify, you get that. Putting the pieces together, the CDF is 0 to the left of a. It is this quantity right here between a and b. It is this quantity right here between b and c. And it looks like that. And finally, it is 1 to the right of C. This all can be done in one Apple statement, and that Apple statement is CDF of triangular R, V, A, B, and C, and that will run through all the calculus.